Keith, you recently reached a magnificent milestone officiating your 600th EFL match. When you first started refereeing, did you ever imagine you'd reach such an impressive milestone? <laughs> Um, uh, no, not at all. Um, I'm very proud to be able to uh, say that I've achieved 600 games at the professional level. I mean, when I first started back in 1989 as a referee, um, I never dreamed that I'd even get up to the, the heights that I have done, and I've been very fortunate to be able to have done that. But hopefully, that's going to be an inspiration to others that it can be done. You know, it's uh, 600 very tough games over the last 20 seasons, but I've enjoyed every single moment and. Uh, you know, I've always had my goals and aspirations to make it and uh, obviously to be able to do it is just amazing. So yeah, I'm very, very pleased. So the 600th match, uh, Rotherham United versus Stoke City, both clubs recognise your achievements pre-match on the day. Can you tell us a bit more about that? Yeah, I can, yeah. It was, um, it was quite strange really because when I got there, I, obviously I realised that everyone would know it was my 600th game, but you're never sure how, that's, how people are going to react. But I was uh, welcomed with open arms by both uh, sets of management and players and congratulated, which is which is great, but we obviously had a you know, match still to, to referee, which is really important, so we had to put our professional heads on and, and then do that. And then after the game, um, both sets of managers uh, came in with, uh, with shirts, with uh, 600 on and Stroud on the back, which you know, was, uh, was a great humbling moment and, uh, and really good. And um, yeah, they, you know, a moment that I won't forget for the, for the rest of my time, that's for sure, so a really great achievement. So 20 years of refereeing in the professional game, how has officiating evolved during that time? Wow, um, you know, when I first started, you think, you know, I, I used to watch the, the, the first division as it was then, and then it evolved into the Premier League, and I think the scrutiny and everything that goes with it now, with TV, um, you know, all the media, social media, etc., the game has evolved immensely. I think from, from a referee's point of view, um, we're under a lot more pressure, a lot more scrutiny, um, but I think they do a good job in getting the majority of that right, which is fantastic. Um, and all the support that we get around that as well now um, is, is fantastic you know, with, with coaches, with mentors um, and, and all the management that we've got around with and obviously physiotherapists now and, uh, and massages and everything that you would think a, an elite sports person should have, we now have in the professional game. And I think that's, you know, that, that's just for me fantastic and for the next people that come on to it and hopefully there, there will be when I, when I finally retire. Um, uh, you know, it's great for them. So it's, uh, it's, it's definitely going in the right direction and will continue to do so from, from what I'm aware of. So as one of the most experienced officials in the professional game, what are your hopes for that next generation of match officials coming through? So everyone starts, I mean, but you start refereeing at 14 now um, and it's a really tough place to start in youth football, but it's so rewarding. You know, I, I go out now and watch youth football and watch youngsters do you know, referee and start starting their careers. And I think when they do that, they've got many years in front of them where hopefully uh, with all the, all the uh, support network there is from the very low uh, grassroots level all the way to the very top, um, hopefully you know, this will inspire people and, the, and seeing someone like me being do, doing 20 seasons in the professional game, doing 600 games and inspire people that, you know, that I could do that, I can go and do that and I can be a referee or an assistant referee at the very top level and let's hope that that is what happens because you know we see so many referees that referee a couple of seasons and then fade away but there is a, car a career path there now that you can get to the very top and let's hope that what I've done and what people will see with all the support that they will inspire people to A, take up the whistle and B, continue to get to their dream and referee at the very top.